hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php tutorial solution series where in this video guys we are going to insert the multiple option data with search option using select to plugin guys so this is the website of select to we are going to insert data something like this okay so yep so guys now where in previous video part 25 we have seen how to integrate select to and now guys in this video we will be inserting these data into our database okay so let's get started so first let's move guys to our vs code okay and this is the code guys we are fetching the data from our database and now we are going to push this data into our database so we will create one input field because we just need this hobby list should be to some user id so let's give one label where we'll mention this as user id and a simple input tag where we want to just give a dummy user id so you can just mention with the name where user underscore id and just design with the class form control and yep one simple button guys column md3 where i want to give a button as save hobbies okay where this button type will be submit and let's design this button little bit button hyphen primary and margin top 4 let's refresh and see the output guys refresh okay so here we want to give the user id and you have to select the hobbies from here and this is to save the hobbies guys so now let's integrate the form over here so let me just minimize this select option okay let's start the form here form tag open close the form tag over here all set let's give a method is equal to post and this will go to code.php guys all set now we have to name the attribute over here in the select option so this will be your hobbies inside array format okay we are storing multiple data guys so if you are not understanding please watch out the part 25 that is previous video link in the description so we are fetching all this option ids and storing with this hobbies okay so yep let's see now and one more button for the submit so save save hobbies we can tell okay all set now guys, let's go to the code.php file let's move to code.php and begin with the php guys over here first let's give the connection database connect function where we, you can assign the localhost first then the username root the password is null and the database name is php tutorials so let me just copy this database name paste and now guys check the condition is set dollar underscore post method when the button is clicked that time only you should be insert this if condition so let's copy this and yep so now guys we have to take the user id so let's create a variable with the user id is equal to i want to get the user id with the help of post method so what user id when you submit to this button that time you will get this user id and hobbies to the code.php with the method post okay so you can just paste here user id and now guys we have hobbies so let's create this hobbies and the name value you have given hobbies so let's copy this and paste that done guys we are having the user id as single but hobbies we have multiple so in this case guys we have to use some for each loop so for each open and close bracket where you'll mention this 
hobbies as dollar your hob list okay your all the list of hobbies so you can just loop that and get the values let's write the query so dollar query is equal to insert insert into table name so my table name is guys you can just go and i have created user hob list table so i'll just show you okay so the table is empty guys a simple user id and hob list id have created so let's call this user id i mean the table name so let's copy this table name first and the values column fields and the values so column field is user id and hob list id okay so you can just give comma and separate them and now guys coming to values you can just put single quotes and copy this and send that and give comma and this is your hob list whatever the hobbies you are getting that id you are just putting inside this okay you are not taking this you are taking this value okay so this value copy this and paste over here and now guys as simple execute the query so query run is equal to query function where your database connection first and then your statement your query okay now guys if the query is successful if the query is successful you will show the message i mean redirect to location colon back to this page okay so let's copy this paste exit where i want to show a message so let's use session guys over here a status where you will mention this in as hobbies inserted successfully so same way you can copy and paste for the not inserted okay and if you want to use session please start the session at the top of your page so session start let's copy this session and start in your main page so yep that's it and now guys to show the message you can just show over here inside your card php open php close perfect so now guys let's test it get back refresh so you have zero data in this user hob list let's give the user id as one and i want to insert hockey and cricket let's click on save hob is inserted successfully and you can see in your database boom so we have inserted the data guys done let's insert few more 1 2 3 let me give user id as 2 let's click to save and you can see that user id 2 has 3 hobbies okay so guys we have successfully inserted the multiple select option by using search okay so you can search like this and we are using select to plugin so main motto of this video is using select to plugin we are inserting this select option data so guys let's see next video how to edit this data so we have inserted this data right so we will give user id 1 over here like user id 1 so with this help of data we are going to edit and update the data so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share